So we just finished doing not just one, but two perfume haul videos, Jean-Paul Gaultier and Epcot video. And I figured why not do three in one day? This could be a very bad idea. I already reek of sweetness from Jean-Paul Gaultier, but I did change into my like kind of construction. Um, I wanted like a rebellious outfit and this is like the most rebellious I could find because I'm pretty boring. All I do is work and run. So here we are. I call it construction worker because it has like this little thing here. Anyways, this is my rebel outfit. We are ready for this video. Um, and the first one I'm going to review is gonna be Bleep Please. Let's grab a tester card. These are all mixed up, you guys, wow. Okay, so. Hey angels, welcome back. So today we are gonna be doing a review of a house that I found online. It was on Instagram, of course. When you start doing perfume reviews, you get pushed a ton of advertising for perfumes. And this is actually a house out of New York, I believe. Um, the perfume designer wanted something that was fun, witty, and matched her energy. And I knew I had to try it with names like this. So um, from Get A Room to this word because if I say it, I'm gonna be um, demonetized but this please and other funny names I knew that this would be something that would be fun to share with you guys and to you know play around with you guys know that when I do these videos a lot of the time it's like off the cusp spur of the moment you're getting me as I'm like unboxing or unpacking or you know this was in my car for a couple weeks um, I just brought it in and I rarely organize anything or plan anything. So it's really spur of the moment I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do leave a thumbs up Subscribe and leave a comment down below. So I know that you are enjoying this crazy content and Yeah, introduce yourself. I'm Celia. I hope you're doing well I hope you are enjoying your summer or winter depending on where you live in this world um, and yeah, we're gonna dive into it. So the first one is the bleep please and we're just gonna have to use the full size because I don't know where the tester went. I honestly probably used it up. Um, a lot of times when I'm driving and it's been a long, hot, humid day, I'll reach for whatever's in my glove compartment and these happen to be in my car at the time. And I actually really like this one. So I wasn't expecting a whole lot when I bought these. They are rather inexpensive. I was expecting kind of like a a fun little like surprise a little bit of like a, a designer quality fragrance and they're not bad they're not something i would maybe um repurchase over and over again but i love the names i love the packaging and the scents are actually pretty good so if you're looking for a good like purse spray or if you like um the packaging this is actually a really pleasant very pleasant perfume um i think it says a little bit about it inside so it has black currant, jasmine petals, um, with a little bit of sandalwood and skin musk. It's supposed to evoke like a confident, carefree vibe. And it says, you know, you are that boss. And I love that. It's just a really pretty, this one's good for work. This would be appropriate for the office despite the name. It's a very confident perfume. I feel like the person wearing this just likes a really pretty scent. The automizer is really nice. It sprays really well. It's just a really, really pretty girl smell. I think kind of like that warm, ambery, vanillic type girl. Just that pretty feminine energy. That's what it smells like to me. It's like goddess vibes all day, every day. That's this guy right here. So again, I can't say it because of YouTube, but that's what this is. The next one is called Love High by Confessions of a Rebel. This one is between lust and lost. Let's get lost, shall we? This one is peach nectar, tangles with orange flower and jasmine in a tantalizing fragrance. Shaken up and just a little bit sweet, succulent apple reveals new textures of sensuality against powerful blonde woods. Everything goes, but first, 
dive right in. All right, love high. Let's see what we think of this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. This one actually smells incredibly woodsy to me. This smells like something I would wear. It's amber, it's woodsy, slightly floral. Again, I feel like this is a very pretty girl fragrance. This one, like Love High, is kind of getting me love struck. I really like this one. I would consider buying a travel size of that. That is really, really nice. The next one's called Get a Room. I think we got this in the full size too, or the travel size. So this one was not my favorite. And I don't have the card anymore. I actually lost one of these too. Was it? No. About last night was one that I lost. Which was inspired by Nights Downtown. It's a bold exclamation of scent featuring a cocktail of sparkling bergamot, pink pepper, and red grapefruit powdered with vetiver. I'm sad that I lost this one. I might have to reorder this to like talk about this with you guys. Mandarin oil. I feel like this one would have been one that I liked and maybe this one, maybe I give this to Mark because this sounds more masculine, um, but it sounds absolutely stunning. Anyways, back to get a room. This one doesn't do anything for me. Kind of smells a little bit chocolatey, like there's some sort of chocolate note. It's almost kind of like a molecule one chocolate edition. Again, nothing that I'm like, nothing's standing out to me and nothing's not standing out to me. It's just kind of like, okay. Like I'm not wowed. This might be a good car spray for me. Okay, the next one is Let's Be Real. This one says endless, endless plush vibes and a big, bold floral heart. I think we're going to like this one. It has jasmine, tuberose, um, tonka bean, vanilla, cashmere woods. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's be real. This one's good. You can definitely pick up on the jasmine tuberose. The tuberose isn't too prominent, but it's there. So if you like tuberose, this one's a great one for you. If you like kind of that white floral bouquet of tuberose, jasmine, this one I would say kind of reminds me of any other tuberose scent. It's nice, it's pretty. It's not something that I would be like rush out to buy. I have so much tuberose right now, you guys, that I probably won't be wearing for whatever reason tuberose to me lately. Like there's certain scents where I smell it and it's like great. It's uh, it's not as mature, it's not as um, stuffy. And then other scents, like in here, I smell it and it just kind of like makes my stomach turn. I don't know what happened along my perfume journey, but all of a sudden I hit a point where I was just kind of like burnt out on tuberose and like now I smell it. And especially if it's a lower quality tuberose, I'm just kind of like, I don't want anything to do with it. That's kind of like what's going on in here. It's pretty, but it, again, it's not something that I personally would buy a full size bottle of or wear. Moving on to this word, Mondays, um, citrus, fruity, peachy apple, clary sage, sandalwood. This sounds like it's gonna be masculine. There's a little suede and skin musk. All right, let's dive in, shall we? I love doing these like first impression videos with you guys. Even though I had smelled Bleep Please and Get a Room before, um, it's always fun to smell some of these other ones that I have not yet smelled. This one's super masculine and this one's actually really, really, really nice. This reminds me of a popular designer scent and I can't put my finger on it. I'm gonna totally think of it as soon as I press like the end button, I'm totally gonna think of what perfume this reminds me of. Maybe a little bit like Eros. Is it Eros? Maybe it's YSL mixed with Eros. This kind of reminds me of that. It's not bad, it's very, very much, I could see this being very much a crowd pleaser, 
a very good everyday go-to would be this one, F Mondays. The next one we are gonna smell angels is called Morning After. Um, this one says, feels as good as the night before, decadent and hot, vibrant Italian lemon and herbaceous notes bring on a jolt of energy while lavender, patchouli, and tonka bean take the edge off the lingering haziness. I have a feeling this is gonna be rather masculine. Um, we are gonna give it a go and see for ourselves. I'm excited to smell. Very much masculine. And I very much like it. It's kind of like a get up and go fragrance. It's very strong, it's very bold. Kind of smells like some sort of cleaner. It almost smells like Windex <clears throat> a little bit, like in the best way. Don't you guys hate when fragrance reviewers say that, like in the best way, like it smells like absolute bleep, but in the best way. No, but seriously, this smells kind of like Windex to me, but actually like in the best way. Like if I smelled a guy wearing this, I would think it was hot. He's clean, he likes to be clean. He probably has no toothpaste streaks on his mirror. It's not bad. Now the last one we're gonna smell is Almost Single by Confessions of a Rebel. This one is you're living every day like it's your last, why not? There's a spicy recklessness to this fragrant, Carmadum. Why, why is it in like everything we're smelling today? Anyways, carbonum, black pepper, rosemary, violet, and balsam and sandalwood. I have a feeling this is going to smell just like the Aqua de Parma because this is basically essentially the same notes that's in there. But we could be totally wrong. You never know. Oh, wow. 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 I actually really like this one. It is nothing like the Aqua de Parma. This is good. This is really good. This is sweeter than I imagined. It smells like clean shampoo in a way. Like a sexy guy's clean shampoo. That's what this smells like. Oh my gosh. I would be very, 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 very much into this on a guy. This is really, really nice. Oh my gosh, this is really good. It's funny because the notes are exactly, almost exactly the same as the Aqua de Parma, but this is really, really, really good, you guys. Wow, so that again is called Almost Single by Confessions of a Rebel. Really, really like that one. So out of all of them, because there's quite a few, I think my favorite was Love High, Bleep Please, and almost single. So those are like my favorites. Um, Get a Room smelled a little generic to me. F Mondays was pretty good. And the morning after was interesting, but I really, really, really like this one. It's really good. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have tried their fragrances, I feel like this is not very spoken about. I have not seen any other reviews on this. I don't know if it's a newer company, um, but I'm really glad I got a chance to purchase it, try it out because it's a fun brand. Um, I think it's really cute, it's witty, it's totally everything I could see myself making in a perfume, something that's kind of like cheeky and fun. Um, and I love that it's at a really good price point too. So. If you're looking for something that's maybe not so much the generic everyday Sephora haul, um, like you want to branch out and try something new, but you're not ready to spend niche prices, this would be a good house to check out, in my opinion. Um, so again, if you like more of the tuberose mixed with jasmine, let's be real was a good option. Bleep Please is really good for that girl who just really wants a beautiful um, fragrance. I think it's just an incredible everyday and there's a slight 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 herbally like more herbally smell that almost kind of smells like br540 with bleep please 
it has that same kind of quality to it um if you've smelled this and you kind of got that same vibe let me know in the comments i'm curious to see what you guys think um love high was really pretty and then the other ones were a little bit more masculine so hopefully this helped you guys if you have been looking at the brand um let me know if you decide to try it and you like it i'll see you in the next video